Today, we're looking at something very nice, an Airstream. Something I can't afford, but maybe you can. Check it out. This is Jesus Manuel Garza. I hope you're having a really nice day. In this video, I uh, explore the 2018 Airstream 25RB International Signature Series Travel Trailer. A very nice travel trailer indeed. It weighs 5,849 pounds dry, so that's basically without all your stuff. After you get all your stuff in there, it's gonna weigh a bit more, huh? So there's the uh, power tongue jack and uh, all the good stuff that you get with this Airstream, and a good price, of course. $95,084. That's the manufacturer's uh, suggested retail price. This review was requested by a YouTube friend, a subscriber. I'd like to thank him for uh, asking for this review. I just really enjoy looking at Airstreams. Wish I could afford one, but I like looking at them. Two batteries. And uh, right next to it, a propane hookup right there. There it is. You have two aluminum steps to get inside. And of course, Airstream doors are built almost like a bank vault. Look at those hinges. Those are serious hinges. And there's the heater. And you have two plugs. Just like everybody else, two plugs. And that's where you can put your water. Of course, an Airstream, what differentiates an Airstream from a lot of other travel trailers is their aluminum skin. Who makes aluminum skin travel trailers currently? It used to be quite a few way, way back in the 50s and 60s, but today it's primarily Airstream. And uh, that high quality uh, aluminum is not cheap. And all those porthole windows and uh, that beautiful interior comes at a premium price. And those fixtures also. So it all adds up to over $95,000. LED lights inside and out conserve energy. The folks at Vought RV Centers let me take this video. They were very nice and they said, Jesus, you can take this video for your YouTube subscriber. No problem. Again, thank you very much, Vought RV Centers. There are the uh, dump valves. And uh, here's some storage. One thing you'll notice on a lot of Airstreams, they don't have much storage on the outside. They want to keep it pretty on the outside so they don't cut very many holes. And they want to keep all that space inside intact and give you as much beauty to look inside and check out as possible. And there's the water heater. And that's your outside shower. So you can wash your little toes, wash your little pets, and wash you and your friends. Let's make sure everybody's okay, your, your wife. This is a 50 amp travel trailer because it has two ACs. They optioned this one with an extra AC. That was very smart. You don't need to go back uh, behind the refrigerator very often just to uh, vacuum and make sure it's clean. You don't want to take it inside, uh, you know, to an RV center to have them clean it because it'll charge you a pretty penny. Just do it yourself, just vacuum back there once in a while. Again, not. <laughs> it's almost laughable how much storage this unit has on the outside. Very little storage right here. This is a puny storage. Ay, ay, ay. Again, what you're paying for is this beautiful, absolutely gorgeous aluminum exterior that just uh, glides through the air, just flies through the air. pause this video and look at all the info here like the fact that this has a 15,000 BTU ducted AC with heat pump and that it has two 30 pound steel uh, LPG bottles with aluminum cover etc etc again you can pause this video and look at the 4k visual elements and uh, look at them ad nauseum at your pleasure anytime you want and of course you can always check out that price $95,084 manufacturer suggested 
retail price. I've been looking at travel trailers in the twenty to twenty-five thousand dollar range. This is four times more than what I'm willing to pay at this time. If I was a wealthy doctor, lawyer, a person who had a lot of money and saved up, I would consider this. I would definitely consider this. But on my budget, I can't rationalize it. Maybe you can. You got the money. You can afford this. You can specifically say, I am getting something super sweet, super good looking, super nice. This unit is configured with the uh, salsa, ultra leather, or as some salesmen say, salsa. So it has a nice little table right there. Again, this is the salsa interior ultra leather. Very cushy. Definitely better than your pedestrian uh, travel trailer. It was very cushy. Very nice. I could definitely get used to this uh, premium product. There's a TV. That's the biggest size TV you can fit on that wall. And of course, it has HDMI hookups. Most folks that uh, shoot uh, RV videos, the salesmen out there and all over the United States, uh, they shoot it at a super wide angle. I shoot it with uh, only a 24 millimeter, a relatively wide lens. Uh, so I don't exaggerate the fact that this is not super wide. It's, uh, it's wide, but not super wide. There's the Clarion stereo. If you have any questions about this unit, feel free to contact me or contact your local Airstream dealership or just contact the folks at Vought. There's the light and the uh, air conditioning registers. This unit comes in the ebony interior. Here's a view of the cabinets above the uh, kitchen, the galley. Those uh, doors slide, those translucent doors slide. And uh, you can see what's behind there, your, your Wheaties your uh, post toasties, your cocoa puffs, it's all behind that door. And uh, right behind here you can store uh, your various chemicals to clean the floor. Off. Hopefully they're environmentally safe, uh, they're biodegradable. Uh, you want to be nice to Mother Nature. You want to, Mother Nature to stick around and take care of us. So these are the drawers, no dovetail joinery, nothing fancy. Again, these, uh, the doors they use uh, on these uh, travel trailers, these Airstream travel trailers, are a thick plywood and then they laminate it. They cover it with this laminate that makes it look pretty. It's not uh, just stained, it's, it's a pattern they pick and they say, this looks pretty and people will like it. And they'll say, oh, this is a pretty Airstream, I want it. Yeah, but they're very practical when they come to their stainless steel sinks. This is a solid stainless steel sink and a solid Corian. This is high quality. You can't get better than this in a travel trip. That's a bifold uh, cover and a premium uh, stove top. That's a nice grill. That is not going to break. <laughs> this is going to last a while. And there you have your oven. So you get an oven, you get a stovetop, and you also get a convection microwave. Wow, you get it all in this unit. Lately, I've been checking the uh, oven temperatures. This one goes 500 plus plus uh, broil. Some units I've seen only go 350 plus. That's not good. What do you think? And here's a shot, a loving shot, a glamour shot of uh, the buttons above the uh, range to control the light and the uh, air vent. The Sea Level 2 tank monitor is, again, a premium product. That's why you pay a little extra on an Airstream. You get the premium products, just like this inverter. The lights are controlled right there. And uh, you got these porthole mm, windows, just like on a, a yacht. They're almost like on a, a yacht that's going down the road. And here's the convection microwave, a very nice convection microwave indeed. You can put a lot of uh, 
popcorn in there. Also, you can uh, grill something in there. So you can grill uh, in your oven and also grill up there. This is a good size refrigerator. Plenty of room for your milk, your juice, your various beverages, your various vegetables, and your meat and uh, veggie products. My wife's a vegetarian. She would put a lot of vegetarian items there. And uh, yeah, this is big. This is a good size. AC and propane powered. I'm a big proponent of AC-DC, but did Airstream listen to me? No. They don't listen to Jesus Manuel Menegarza of Fort Worth, Texas. Nice little storage back there. And this is your uh, pull-out pantry, or as my wife would say, pull-out larder. Don't forget you can pause this video at any time to look at certain video elements uh, you want to see again. And you can always contact your local Airstream dealership or the folks at Vought and say, what is this? Can I take a peek? Can I go inside one of these units? Hey, would you allow me to buy one, please? And they'll probably say, if they're in a good mood, they'll say, yes, we'll let you buy it from us. Ceramic toilet, vents, lights, LED lights, all the good stuff. This is a very classy looking unit. I could see myself in here if I had the money. <laughs> I don't have any money. There's this the stainless steel sink and the stainless steel soffit, uh, you know, faucet, yeah. And uh, there's the plugins, and the, you can control the light there and turn it on and off the water here. You can just bring gas or electric. If you're at the uh, resort, or at a place where they give you electricity, you can just use electricity to warm up all that water that you're going to go through. That's the medicine cabinet, one of them. Plenty of room in there for stuff, don't you think? And again, what do you think of this ebony laminate? There's an area where you can put your biodegradable, environmentally friendly friendly uh, chemicals so you can clean your RV make sure it's nice and tidy because you're in an airstream you don't want to leave a mess what would the people think oh my god this guy has an airstream and he or she doesn't take care of it oh my lord this has cabinet ducted heat uh, you do not want uh, in-floor ducted heat because that gets a little messy a little dirty a little stinky a little smelly and this is a shirt uh, air closet, also a long coat closet. You can put your long dresses here. And it's one of the few places that you can put your golf clubs because you definitely can't put it outside. You have to put it there. If you're a golfer, that's my suggestion. Stainless steel, you know, appointments. Very nice. A definite upgrade and it costs a little more than your plastic, which is typical on most travel trailers. So that's why you're paying a little extra penny for an Airstream. Even this uh, shower surround is of a thicker, higher quality fiberglass. Nice glass door too. So people can peek at you, but not really see what's going on behind there. They go, oh, is that Jesus? Yeah, that's him. It's a nice 22 inch uh, Samsung uh, television with uh, HDMI plugs. I like HDMI. That's state of the art. And there's your light dimmers, and you turn on and off your light there. And there's your digital AC and heater thermostat. Definite upgrade over analog. And again, like I said, this has HDMI plugs. Everybody else, a lot, most of the other folks out there have just, uh, you know, just phono plugs. That's not good. HDMI is what you should have. Yeah, it's, uh, so you can stick in stuff in the HDMI ports. There's some cabinets, uh, storage here, drawers. You can put your shirts, your pajamas, your underwear, your socks, that bottle of scotch, or your bottle of uh, medicine, whatever you want to put in there. This is a rather narrow shirt closet, but you know, you get what you get. This is the only shirt closet in the bedroom. So this is it for, for this unit. You're paying $100,000 and this is it. You have portal windows, uh, to see behind you if you want and porthole and windows all around and uh, beautiful little pillows and uh, 
bed covers, very nice. I really like the aluminum interior. This is where you can plug in your CPAP machine, your stereo, uh, you know, you plug in your little portable stereo and listen to music in, in here if you want, so you don't want to mess with the front stereo. So there's those translucent doors, you slide them, and you grab stuff behind them. It's pretty simple. They have three lights back here, one uh, there, and one behind that, and uh, right up there, another light sconce. So it's very well illuminated, and they have these beautiful translucent doors. Uh, these are uh, aesthetic choices that Airstream made. They said, hey, we want to make this thing look pretty for our customers. So this review was requested by a YouTube friend, subscriber. This goes out to you. I'm panning down and now I'm gonna pan from the left to the right because I can this video is in 4k for your visual enjoyment hopefully you can see this on a big screen on your television on your laptop and say hey I like those details that Garza shot and uh, here's a issue that I had I cannot open these windows if my life depended on it I pushed up and pushed up maybe I'm just a you know, I'm just a 170 pound weakling. I can't do it. Bad news. But this I can do. I can roll down the roller blinds. Congratulations, Jesus Manuel Menagarza. I would like to thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to uh, like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly appreciate it. Gracias. Adios. Bye bye.